Guys, welcome back to Food Busker. Now, we're down here at the amazing festival on Blackheath. I'm with my rude boy, Martin Morales, and we're going to do these amazing Peruvian beef heart skewers. A classic. This comes from an Afro-Peruvian culture when there was nothing left but the, but the offal. It's called anticuchos. Anticuchos means piercing in the old language. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to prep beef heart. Now look at that baby, absolutely beautiful. So much flavour in offal. So I'm going to show you how to break this down and then Martin's going to do the marinade. So I'm just going to cut through. So we'll just slice through to there. If you've ever prepped uh, liver, it's the same, isn't it? It is, yeah. Put it into a manageable slice. Just go down and around and we're just cutting off the fat. We just need to make sure that all the sinew and all those fatty valves are out there. And once you do that, the, the, the feeling of the heart changes. It's actually quite, it's beautiful meat basically. It's, it's like it? a beautiful steak. What's the story behind this dish? Well, this is like, you know, for me, this is like the perfect steak dish, but you know what? On every street corner in the best parts of Peru, the most interesting hoods of Lima, you find these ladies cooking this in grills outside in the street, so it's their ultimate street food. And these ladies become so popular that they're like, um, they're like, they're, they're more, they're more famous than pop stars. Can you believe it? <laughs> yeah, I love it. And just, just coming out of a butcher's, so we've got some of the sinew there. That's the sort of stuff that if it's cooked. If that then goes into the pan, it tightens up and it will make the rest of the meat tight. So make sure you cut that out. I've sliced this up to this sort of thickness. Traditionally, is that what we'd look for? Yeah, that or a little bit thicker as well. Okay. Because what we want is to leave a little bit of rareness inside. So it's nice. so all that juice is there and the marinade on the outside just crisp up a little bit. It's going to be so good. Ooh. Right, okay. Now while I continue to slice this down, over to the maestro for the marinade. Let's go. So we've got some panca chili here. It's a paste, but you can use any smoky chili. Uh, you can use chipotle or any smoky chili and make a paste out of it, some water and blend it down. So we're gonna use about two tablespoons of panca chili. Then we're gonna have some garlic, just a, about one garlic clove, I mash that down. Just a massive pinch of oregano, massive pinch of salt, massive pinch of cumin, there you go, those African flavours there as well. And some red wine vinegar. I would also put a little bit of oil in there as well. Martin, that looks absolutely gorgeous. Thank hey, you. You've got loads of amazing Peruvian food on your channel, right? Absolutely. We want to make it the home of Peruvian food on the internet. And uh, this is an absolute favourite that's served in our restaurant, Ceviche and Andina as well. So, so make sure you subscribe to Martin's channel. Now, is that ready? Yeah. Okay, so let's marinate the beef. Okay, so we just drop it in. That's right. Just pop it in. Now, what's what's the important thing with this? How long do we need to marinate it for? Look, anything between 12 hours, 24 hours, overnight, you know. The important thing is that those flavours are going inside and tenderising this ox heart. And by the way, you can use steak, you can use beef. Yeah. You can even use chicken or liver or any offal as well, you know. And so but, what, what? But this is tradition. Okay. We don't mess with tradition. So that's <laughs> why we've got the ox heart. Boom. Okay, so that bad boy's done, but Martin did one last night, so should we get that one out of the fridge? Yeah, let's do it. Cool. Now look at that now. You can just see the flavour just screaming to get out, right? So what do we do next? We've got to skewer it. Okay. So we've pre-soaked these skewers for about an hour, just to make sure that they suck up all the water, that way they won't burn when they're in the pan. So we put it at the bottom and then at the top, skewering it in like that. These are going to be there so tasty. Amazing. Normally we use the barbecue, but no, we're going to use the griddle today. It's much easier. Right, guys, these are ready. So we're going to get them onto a screeching hot pan. Martin, that smells absolutely incredible. How long, you know, how long have we got to cook them for? Cook them for about seven minutes on each side. You don't want it to go dark, but you just want to sear both sides. Boom. Right, I reckon these bad boys are ready. Perfect. Mate, mate, mate. Okay, Martin, what's this amazing yellow looking sauce? Amarillo chilies. These are yellow native Peruvian chilies. Oh my god, so smoky. So is that on your channel? Yes, this Amarillo chili sauce is on my channel and loads of other lovely recipes. Head over and check it out. Now, these radical rude boys, what are we calling them again? Andicuchos. Andicuchos! I reckon, well what would you pay in Peru per skill? About a lunch. quid. About a quid. Okay. Quid fifty. Let's, let's say one pound fifty. Let's take it to the street and see what people will pay. This is Martin Morales, Peruvian rude boy. Um, and what we want you to do is we want you to try the food and tell us what you think it's worth. So grab a skewer.
Right. For a skewer, how much would you pay on the street? Three. Yes. Oh. <laughs> I'm just a bit about it, yeah. Amazing. Yeah, that's the end. How are you? Right. Okay, girls. This is Martin Morales. Hello. Hello I'm Hola. the food busker, and I cook on the street. And people try my food, and they tell me what they think it's worth. Really aromatic. Really tasty. Oh yes. So you see, that is the right response. Yes. Now, girls, what would you pay for a whole skewer? One of those. One of those. Ten pounds. Good girl. Yes. I pay about nine quid. Nine quid. Nine, nine quid. Nine quid. The girls, back of the net, four nil. Martin, come on, brother. Boom. Oh my God. I'm happy with that. Martin, that is genuinely, genuinely. Amazing Peruvian cooking. And if you want to know what goes absolutely awesomely with this, well, it's cassava chips. And that recipe's over on Martin's channel. And remember, if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe to the Food Buskers channel as well. See you next time, people. Ciao.